Caroline Stewart, and I'm here today with Mackenzie, Josie, and Whitney. And uh, I am just gonna pose this question that I feel like we get a lot as marketers. Um, when you think about marketing, do you ever think about what not to do? So um, I thought about this because I was reading this article the other day, and it was all these people who were um, talking about the worst marketing tips they've ever heard, or the worst things that they've ever heard. Um, yeah done and I was just thinking that we could all sort of chime in and uh, talk about what the um, worst sort of tips or worst practices that they've ever heard. Uh, Josie, can you kick us off? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the first thing that comes to mind that is definitely a piece of advice that I would say no to is having anything and everything on your homepage. I'm talking yeah. all the moving parts, I'm talking pop-ups, rotators, uh, a ton of videos on the homepage. Okay, so one of the most annoying things to me basically ever is autoplay videos. Like yes. you get somewhere exactly. and it's autoplay like that. and it like freaks you out and you can't <laughs> turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I don't care what I'm trying to look for on this website, I gotta get off. Yeah. Or like all the flashing stuff, like mm -hmm. sale, sale, sale. <laughs> Just in your face. And like, do you guys remember <laughs> GIFs like for your logos and stuff, like movie? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So stressful. Any and all of that is just, I would say no to that. Um, I mean, not only is it not visually appealing, um, but it also bogs down your website in terms of like site speed and load times and all that. And that is, as we know, super important Definitely. right now. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, all right, great. Thank you so much, Josie. Mackenzie, how about you? What's the worst piece of marketing advice that you've ever gotten? Um, I would have to say cross-posting on social media is not your best friend. Um, things that are appropriate for Twitter are definitely not appropriate for LinkedIn, which tends to be a more professional uh, social platform. So, like, am I posting a, like, funny GIF or something um, on LinkedIn? Personally, I wouldn't. I don't <laughs> think that that's the, the correct content to use for LinkedIn. Um, while Hootsuite can be a great uh, managing tool, still posting on each individual uh, platform is is ideal. Like 20 hashtags on LinkedIn. No. <laughs> it's definitely a no. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thanks, Mackenzie. Um, and Whitney, what would you say is the worst piece of marketing advice you've ever gotten? Yeah, well, I think the worst thing that I've seen is when businesses dive right into their marketing without first really defining who they're marketing to. Um, and when they haven't really defined their target audience, it's really just wasting a lot of time and, and resources, and their marketing's not gonna be as, as effective. Yeah, you're like selling something yeah. mm -hmm. to a millennial, but targeting like a 50 plus yeah, and it's just, just all over yeah, the place. Yeah. Very important to know your audience. <laughs> <laughs> Great point. Uh, <laughs> um, is there anything else that you guys can think of that you would tell our audience like absolutely don't do or think before you dive into? I would say if just because your competitor's doing it doesn't mean that you have to. So it's important. not always mm -hmm. appropriate for you. Yeah. Yeah. Different definitely. budgets, different yeah. audiences. I think that's definitely a great point. Yeah. It's not one size fits all. No. That's for sure. For sure. A lot it goes into it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, the other thing that I would say um, is more on the print side of things. So like you hear all the time the print is dead and that sort of thing, and that's just not true. Like, <laughs> so if someone tells you that, think about that. Like you need to have business cards. You need to have some sort of like brochure or something that you can hand to a person yeah. in those situations. Yeah. So. Um, so I go to a lot of networking events and yes. people always hand me their business cards and I feel like a terrible feeling <laughs> at a networking event is being like, yeah, but I don't have a business card to hand you back. I feel like that's very embarrassing mm -hmm. and not professional. Or when your business card is way out of date or not consistent with the rest yep. of your yeah, brand. It's not updated. If you update your logo or your website or something, you want to mm -hmm. reflect that in all of your branding. So yeah. Definitely. Totally agree with that. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for the worst pieces of advice you've ever received. <laughs> no, um, I do want to end on a positive note, um, and we're just going to quickly tell everybody um, the best piece of marketing advice. Mackenzie, can you kick us off? Um, I would say analyze and evolve your marketing strategy always. Awesome. How about Josie? Marketing without data is like driving with your eyes closed. <laughs> so good. Don't Whitney. And mine would be always have a strategy. Awesome. And mine is don't let great get in the way of good. Thank you guys for joining us today.